So the defining insight that shaped our work from the very beginning was that the most effective strategy we could follow to protect Achuar territory and culture was to support them directly, to be able to powerfully stand up for their rights and to represent their own interests. And with the threat of the government's plans for oil development looming, the first project that we undertook was mapping of their territory for, to achieve legal title, formal legal title of their lands. Um, but then at their request, in 1996, we started taking groups of travelers to their territory. And these, visitor, these visitors were so deeply moved by the experience that they, began, they also provided funding for the mapping projects and other projects that were developing. And we began to see then that we were actually in this for the long haul. And we incorporated here in the United States a nonprofit organization, the Pachamama Alliance. As our work grew and collaboration expanded in 1997, we created a sister organization <laughs> in Ecuador. In 1997, we <laughs> create the sister organization that was called Fundación Pachamama to support better our indigenous partners. And one of the projects that we were doing at the time was, for example, creating a solar HF radio to connect all the remote communities around this area. Also, uh, we were doing uh, we create uh, this great aviation service to connect and give better transportation to the people throughout the region. And maybe one of the most important things happening at that time is that we were training leaders all over around the South Central to make sure that they were having a lot of information about their collective rights and educating all the communities um, to have rights, legal approach based training, and also strategies for keep the oil uh, out from this territory. So the, the effectiveness of this early work inspired the Achuar's neighbors, the Shuar, Zapra, Quechua, Shiwiar, to request partnership also. And so our work expanded to include the entire Central South Amazon region of Ecuador. And then in 1998, the Ecuadorian government Ecuadorian government announced a new round of oil development covering this entire region and they granted rights to the oil company Arco right smack dab in the middle of Achuar territory. The legal and rights based trainings were making a huge, huge difference. The indigenous people with support from our legal team were going to court, were using international and national laws to assert their rights. They were able to blog many efforts combating um, different strategies from the oil companies. And our partners become recognized as the most effective indigenous movement in Latin America. That's a big, great thing for us. So the oil, the oil companies were obviously getting frustrated in the face of such strong resistance. In the year 2000, ARCO left. Burlington Resources stepped in, stepped in, and then after getting nowhere, they left. And by 2004, the government's plans for oil development were in disarray and were then withdrawn altogether. It was a major victory, it was a major victory for the indigenous people, for our alliance, and for the earth. Thank you.